What's going on guys, Thyromex here, back with another Minecraft video. Today, we are gonna get a true start on the town and finally get some stuff built. We've only got this house and the enchantment tower and like basic farms and that's it. Time to get some roads, some proper designs going, plan out some more builds along here, start to transform the area. It won't even look like a vanilla world. Well, yeah, kinda. Also gotta get a path through here and finally work on the entrance of this mine. Turn into some sort of cool mine shaft, like I keep saying. It's looking ugly right now. Please, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of this series. Come on. Any help to getting to 150 subscribers, would it's so appreciated. The fact that we're really close, it's so exciting to me. So thank you guys so much. Watch until the end to see this happen. Let's give it a shot. We've had some pretty good enchanting luck, actually, so I can't be too upset. Let's start by going this way. Oh man, this is a fast shovel. I think gravel mixed in with stone and then a little bit of cobblestone every now and then. This is uh, this is harder than I thought. So yeah, this took 10 to 11 stacks of dirt just to get to this point. Yeah, I like this. And this is probably the furthest I've gotten to see. All right, so first things first, we actually got to get a few enchants going. Because look, we're at level 36. I mean, we've definitely got to start using more diamond gear because like after the amount of diamonds we got last episode, that new diamond method, we're, we're banking, we're good. As the sun sets, we are on top of the enchantment tower. Let's do some enchanting. I know we enchant like every episode in the past few ones, so I'll speed through it, I'll, I'll do it quick. Let's see, I'm breaking three. Death Strider, okay. Protection three, okay. Thorns two, okay. I'm breaking three and five. No, absolutely not. You know what? The Death Strider sounds really good on these boots. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Okay, okay. I can I can take this. At least it's not just Death Strider. It's actually it's actually pretty good. Okay, so this is what we got so far. I've just enchanted this chest plate and it's got protection for it, but nothing else. So eh, not 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 super happy about that. But whatever. Can't win them all. We've had some pretty good enchanting luck, actually, so I can't be too upset. Efficiency 4, and I'm breaking through shovel. I don't want anything else on this. Yeah, we're getting sorted on our gear, man. It's looking pretty good. Just need a couple more things, and to max it out, of course. And then we can turn it into netherite. But yeah, that's enough enchanting for today. It's time to get to building. I think the first thing we gotta do is take care of this farm here. It's, it's in the way. Let's get it out of here. We're removing it right now. We'll move it over. Make it a lot better. But we've got enough crops for now. Okay, so from the house, let's start by going this way. Oop, okay. Oh man, this is a fast shovel. I missed this. Okay, so let's just start getting the rough shape of the path. I mean, we can start getting the rough shape of it going this way as well. You know, go through here. And then we'll start removing this as well. Gotta be careful of the water. Yeah, so sort of through here, and then down here, uh, this way. Now I'm thinking for the design, we could have it so it's like, mostly gravel. Mixed in with maybe, should it be mixed in with cobblestone? I think gravel mixed in with stone, and then a little bit of cobblestone every now and then could work pretty well. There we go, the road design is coming along, something like that works great. It's gonna go through there and then go down there and the town will be spread out through here and over there as well. We'll, we'll put in, we gotta put in some builds next to my house. So it's just not like the one house up here. All right, so this is the progress that I have made. Check it out, man. The road is coming along and this is like pretty much the final design, I think. Look, it goes all the way through here. We still got plenty to do, but I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. I've also just terraformed and like expanded this, like this cliffside here. I've kind of just expanded it and made it into a nice little hill. Smoothened it out, extended it all the way here to make a nice pathway, not just a straight up staircase. Not make it so steep, you know? Like there it kept me steep, that's cool. Here it's a nice smoother and rolling pathway. And yeah, I think I like it. It's pretty good. Just seeing like the road actually go through the grass really gives it a sense of, wow, this is a town that's coming along. And I still haven't connected it to the enchanting tower, so we should do that. But yeah, also what we really need to do is start, yeah, start expanding this way. So I've got some ideas. I've actually got some stuff like in my mind sort of planned out, but I really need to see the space that we're working with. So it's time to chop 
down like a ton of these trees and really clear out the land for us. So let's get to that. So yeah, this took 10 to 11 stacks of dirt just to get to this point and flatten this part out. There were so many holes that I had to fill in. It, it doesn't look like much and there's still plenty more to do. You can see some of it here. That's it. That was like 10 to 11 stacks of dirt. Would not have been possible without this enchanted. But yeah, look, everything here is smoothing out and we've got pretty much enough space for one road to go along here. And I want this to turn into a cliff. I want to transform this into a cliff just like this, but make it look a lot nicer, smoother and more textured the way I want it to. So there'll be like a small cliffside here and a road along it as a street here. And it's gonna connect all the way here to the mine, which will make it look better. And then up into this road here. We'll have build alongside, maybe the road will continue this way. And then we'll have more streets as we as we flatten out more ground and get more dirt placed and we'll also start sloping it down so it matches up with this and i have to place less dirt so it falls into this level and i, I don't have to place as much dirt for now this amount of flat space is pretty good for me i can get a, a set of build along the road which would be great and we can totally get that road going right now let's finish it up so we'll just have it continue this way i know there'll be some sort of build here maybe two Man, this is satisfying. Sorry I have a morning voice, by the way, to the next morning. I had to get up and record this. My voice will get there. So there we go. That is somewhat how the road shape will be. All the way to the mine. The mine shaft. I do, I do kind of have a vision for this as well. So maybe there shouldn't be such a sharp turn here. Should be more over here. Give it some space for what I've got in mind for this. Here, I think for now, I'm going to be farming some like the fungus and the crimson fungus so that'll just be under here for now but uh that's fine can't even hurt me okay you can a little bit all right i'm just gonna finish this up and start planning out some builds here and the grass is spreading so it doesn't look terrible three days later bro look at the mess my inventory is that like look at the state of it i've got an apple here i mean that's from like trees or something but wow this has been this episode has taken me hours because I've been spending so much time on the details, man. But look, I, I've even added some coarse dirt. Like, I've got the road here. I'll show you that in a second. But look, I've added some coarse dirt to transition. Like, to have as if it's, like, sort of mulchy with the leaves at the side. This place is looking super good. Like, I've pretty much finished the road. I'll walk along all of it. We've got one more thing to add. Actually, two things to add. One more thing along the roads, so and we can call the start of the town uh, progress complete for today. But look, I've placed down a bunch of stuff I, I placed on a bunch of logs of like a to mark sort of the shape of the builds that i want kind of like we did like an episode two for our starter house but then we ended up like changing the palette and for the most part and, and really figuring it out afterwards and it came along nicely i think so this, sort of the same deal is going to happen here we're, we're going to figure these out as we go but i do know some of the stuff i want a this one i think will be a starter villager breeder once we get villagers here We'll get the simple villager breeder going, which will it'll be simple enough. Throw food, get a little farm going, make employ one of them as a farmer, and then the rest will happen on its own eventually. Eventually, we'll make a much more efficient villager breeder. But for now, this will do. This one, I think I just want a good interior. I have not done a good interior yet. I plan to do that on that on my starter house as well, but I think this one I just want to dedicate it to looking like super nice on the inside. Just to have a build here as well. I want to fill in the space and then we have like this long build like crazy shape here and it's going to be the reason it's pretty long is because i want every single colored uh sheep here and it's going to have like the automatic shearing farm if you've never seen those look at the design quick it's like the sheep is trapped in one hole for each color and then it's like automatically sheared pretty cool and then an automatic cow crusher i think it looks pretty good look the road is all the way over there now completed for now 
another build here. Uh, I've not put a stein down here. I don't know what I'm going to put here yet. There'll be plenty more builds here, and uh, I bet a bunch of them are just going to be, like, not useful builds, but just, just to make the town look cool. See, the, a lot of people just think of what they need in Minecraft and don't think of what would just be cool to have. I get, I get it. There's so many games where you just got to think of, like, usefulness, and that's it. But in this game, to me, like... This enchantment tower, it's not really useful. I mean, sure, the enchantment tower's in there, but, like, I didn't need this. I don't need to do any of this, to be honest. I can just make it... I don't even need to make a house. If you think of what you need, then, like, and that that's it, then I guess you'll make... You can make, like, simple farms for everything and just AFK a bunch, and then I guess you're technically OP. But I like, I like playing this way. I like... I really want to transform this world and a bunch of beautiful looking buildings and houses and something else that's going to appear. I've chosen the spot over there for phase three, and that's going to really set in the mega base. But yeah, the point is, I like making things look good. And if I really think of how useful everything is, then no, I don't, I don't, I don't need this. Like, if you think of just beating the ender dragon, you can like do that whenever. <laughs> I can go right now, pretty much. I just need need to find eyes of end. I just need to make eyes of enders. But no, th this is what I like to do. I want I want to make the ultimate world, make the best farms. I don't like AFKing pretty much at all. I really want to make like fast, efficient, impressive farms and do so much cool, unique stuff. I like getting as OP as possible, having as much stuff as possible. We're gonna have so much fun with this world, man. But look, the road's continuing on to here. So yeah, as I said, a lot of these buildings they're gonna have like interiors or something. I think we'll move villagers here and let them roam around or something. A bunch of these houses or buildings or whatever, they'll just be there to look cool and be a part of the base, the mega base, you know? So yeah, the road continues on to here. This will be our mine. There we go. That already looks kind of better, except for the dire right here. Yeah, I've been clearing out this because we're I want this to be wider. And then I'm gonna then I'm gonna get rid of all the stone walls and, and cobblestone and all everything, basically, everything, and transform this into a beautiful looking mine. But we kind of got the shape of the entrance. There we go. This is a start, I guess. And I'm I'm just gonna put gravel here for now. There we go, it's coming along. We gotta dig this out a lot more to make this actually look nice. But look, the road loops all the way around back to the house. Finally, it is complete. And I've got some signs for some shout outs that I owe to a few people. So yeah, here is the the lamp, like the lamppost design that I wanna do for some proper lighting along the roads here. So let's do one right here. We're gonna have blackstone uh, brick walls and then we'll go up like three, maybe, maybe a fourth block. Yeah, there we go. Wrap doors to the side. No, I did this wrong almost next to the slabs and then lanterns hanging off of it there we go that is a nice and simple design i like it i like it a lot it kind of just stands out to be in the middle of nowhere but we'll have another road go through here oh yeah and I, I want like a portal room there or something we'll have another house there it'll fit in better we'll have another one of these here I'll, I'll just sort of space them out and then i i want like one here in the middle and then for this one i think we'll do five high slab trap door on all four sides and then hoppers hanging off from this this will look cool and then lanterns hanging off and then you got a bigger lamp post design yeah i like this it kind of stands out but see there's a build here so it kind of fits in a little better already and then we'll just have more of these it's actually starting to feel like we're like a part of civilization now once these buildings get built like and this hills fully transform and everything the lights are in with the lamppost it'll like feel like we're part of a real road okay i like that we got enough for one more here there we go man just those two like from this view bro this actually looks good so i'm about to end the episode but before you go hold up i owe a few shout outs so who commented notch i'm gonna put you on like some sort of bulletin board here i think i'll dedicate like uh i'll make a better like build for this I'm going to put some signs down for some names because uh, I said on episode seven that if you made it to a certain point in the video, comment notch and then you'd get a shout out. This is the board of shout out, I guess. Edmund Chow. I probably mispronounced that. Edmund Cho. Nicey McNicey. Oh, spelled that wrong. I hope I spelled that right. Pixa Taco and noah wolpert probably butchered all of these names so these four thank you for the comments thank you for making it to that point and letting me know that i appreciate it you really helped out you really helped me out in that video 
But guys, we've made so much progress today. I'm so happy with this. I gotta say something real quick. You know, ever since the aquatic update and when I discovered Hermitcraft and I really actually decided to try to get good at Minecraft survival and try to make like a good survival world with a big base and all that, I've always failed and restarted and, and just kept making new worlds over and over and over. And then I made a YouTube channel thinking that would fix everything and I'd actually be able to make my ultimate survival world. Kept making a new world, kept starting a new series for whatever reason, over and over and over. And here we are, a year and a half after I started my YouTube channel. And this is probably the furthest I've gotten to seeing that vision actually come alive. Seeing the lights and the road and the plans for these builds really feels good. I'm smiling, I'm happy. This is, this is great, this is cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, please, before you go, uh, leave a like and <coughs> make sure you're subscribed. Some people just make sure you're subscribed. Just double check, like make sure you see that and then you can go. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm going to die. Thank you all for watching. If you made it to this point, I appreciate that a lot. The next episode will be out in a few days. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget about me and I hope to see you guys next time.